YouTube program Fob here. Welcome back to a video here on my channel. And just as we thought, when we'd have to wait till season two to get DLC one and Cold War Zombies. Yesterday, Chark hits, hits us with a bombshell saying the Dark Ether story continues in season one, Firebase Z. It arrives February 4th, free for all players. And today, on 115 day, they said they would drop a blog, a blog post about it, giving us information and everything. And today they did. Over on the Triarch blog post, um, celebrating 115 day, I'm going to go over every single bit of information and give you guys any theories that I have. So yeah, let's get right into it. Right, it starts off here, January 15th is upon us once again, and we've got plenty to celebrate with the zombies community. For those unfamiliar, January 15th or 115 day is a special time when we take a moment to share a preview of what's to come in zombies, showcase some of our favorite creations from the community, and throw a little double XP and top, of, top it off. This year, we decided to kick off festivities a little early than usual with the launch of our first ever Zombies Free Access Week, new crank mode, and additional onslaught raid and support of new uh, sword and zombies. Firebase Z is unveiled. Yesterday, we revealed the title and release date for the next chapter in the Dark Ether story. Firebase Z will arrive on 14, February 4th during Season 1, free for Black Ops Cold War players, not Season 2 that we thought it would be. Today, we decided to, uh, to show the official logo and new narrative details for a next zombies map, Firebase C. So this is the new logo. So if you guys want to, you know, use this for any thumbnails, if you're YouTube or not, go to Turk.com, Intel, celebrating one more five day and get it. In less than three weeks, Firebase C will introduce zombies fan to all new locations set in the jungles of Vietnam. So it is in Vietnam and in jungle, along with new characters, new enemies, new gameplay mechanics, and much more. And in keeping with zombie tradition, a badass new one weapon awaits. Now, without spoiling too much, let's get into the story so far. So, this shows when it has new characters, probably new operators, new enemies, like, you know, obviously new enemies, new maps, and gameplay mechanics, and new Wonder Weapon. Requiem vs. Omega. Dimensional breaches continue to open around the world as both Omega and Requiem, grew, Requiem work in the shadows to assure the secrecy of their discoveries. The greater public remains blissfully unaware of this daily new arms race between East and West. As two sides continue to study the dark ether dimension and acquiring Ethereum crystals found within each um, strives for an advantage over the other in an ongoing Cold War. The bad news, Rewarkum has fallen behind. Omega's group newest research outpost represents their resounding success in harnessing dark ether technology for their own gates. Equipped with an on-site dimensional gateway, they have acquired the ability to send soldiers and other conscripts into the dark ether to harvest Ethereum crystals straight from the source. As a result, Omega Group's scientific breakthroughs the last several months have been far superpassed anyone Requiem could have imagined. And this is a new picture right here, and which is Samantha Maxis. Omega has developed a new luminous power source, R, which we're all guessing is Rick Toppin. Like, who else would it be? Destination Outpost 25. With the destruction of Project End Station, Anomaly Site in their wake, Gregory Weaver and the Agents of Requiem turned their attention to a far greatest threat, a new Dark Ether outbreak site in Southeast Asia. After learning, Mr. Agent Max has been captured by a mega group, so Samantha has been captured. That's probably what the car that was following her at the uh, end of DLC 1, I mean, the uh, um, cutscene that we got for the first map when the car is following her, that's probably how she got captured. Weaver deploys Wrecking Strike team to infiltrate the facility where she's reportedly being held up post 25. And this is a picture we saw the other day, M, which is Samantha Max. This is the place I spoke of. Omega Outpost 25, the Mega Portal Chamber, this is where the portal is maintained to the Dark Ether, more soon R. Against all odds, Requiem forces will infiltrate the outpost to weaken the, I don't know, fucking, without, with Omega group. Informant, informant Samantha Maxis and all above else survive the new horrors that await them in a banner research facility. In the coming weeks, we'll have more Firebase to see story details, new intel reveals, and the official gameplay trailer soon to lead to the launch. In the meantime, let us dive into additional content during Zombies as Season 1 continues. So, here soon we're going to get some more details, new intels, and a gameplay trailer which I will post and break down. Um, Alright, new perk, Tombstone Soda, February 4th comes out as well. As many, we they did tease on New Year's Eve, um, they're bringing back to, uh, Tombstone Soda. But, Trik, you asked, what's the new about Tombstone? We decided to, it's deciding on the next perk to issue zombies that design team uh, reviewed the full history of every perk and ability from the past that centered around death, and all of them rolled them into an incredibly useful perk for uh, Cold War. Tombstone Soda is all about manipulating and cheating the consequences of death, and you'll need to, at a guess, the forces are waiting for you in Vietnam. Unlike its first incarnation in Black Ops 2, the new and improved Tombstone Soda will now transform the player into a shadow within the Dark Ether, 
After being down in this shadow form, you will be equipped with weapons to help you give a fighting chance to revive yourself. However, if your health is reduced to zero while in shadow form, you're dead. So here is Tombstone Soda. The first ability without upgrading, uh, when down, becoming a shadow and authority, ether armor with your weapons that can revive you. If your shadow loses its all its health, you die. First upgrade is um, shadow form can regenerate health, which is seems good. Increase down duration to 60 seconds, which we're guessing you stay down longer. On death, drop the tombstone stash that saves your weapons, equipment, and resources, which the regular perk. You'll be able to grab tombstone in the fire base scene. You'll also find it in the wonder prison D machina. <clears throat> New uh, support score streaks. I don't really, we don't really care about that. Um, New Onslaught, um, I don't really care about Onslaught, and Free Access Weekend, also, and Celebrate for a Celebrate Community, and they just have some fan art. I know there's something at the bottom here, it says, Wrap this year, one more fire day for everyone to try, we'd love to give you a huge shout out to every single fan who came along with us in the journey called Zombies, whether you've been since the most humble beginnings of the post credits in World War, or that mach D Machina, your first Undead Radio, we uh, honored to have you in the community. Before we go. We'll leave you with this. What we've talked about today is just a glimpse of what's playing for Zombies in 2021. If we think you know what to expect in Season 2, think again. So that tells me right there that we're going to get another Zombies map in Season 2. What's I'd like it's probably going to happen is we're getting Fire Base C towards the end of Season 1. I think we're going to get the next map in the end of Season 2. So I don't think it's going to be every other season. I think it's going to be every season just towards the end. And they might not, you know, when they come out with the new details for the new season, they might not have them in there like they did for this season. But they're going to reveal it later when they're actually going to come out towards the end of the season. Now, one thing I wanted to mention before we end here. This picture right here. To me, it kind of looks like a Margua, but only one head. And only one head of Margua mixed in with other, other dark ether creatures. So yeah, that's all the details we have right now for Firebase Z. If you guys uh, are, like the map, let me know in the comment section in the below what you think of the map. And yeah. Uh, when it drops the gameplay trailer, I will upload that and break it down. Um, until next time, I will see you all later. Peace out.